continuing with our review of the problems in the education sector, we look at English for the year 2015, National Grade 6 Assessment English and the results. 40% of the students passed, 60% failed. Unacceptable. Of all the students who sat the exam, only 1% of the population, less than 1% got accepted at the top school. Imagine that. Less than 1% got accepted at top schools in Guyana. Here we show you that in 2015, 18,000 pupils, yes, 18,000 pupils wrote the National Grade 6 Assessment Examination. Less than 1% gained acceptance. Presented visually, just one out of this lot got accepted. Or it, what that means is all the other pupils who sat the exam are condemned to spend the rest of their lives in lower rated schools, secondary schools. Math. Math has been a problem for the past six or seven years in Guyana. Students have been performing poorly. Why? One of the factors is that pupils or students associate fear, apprehension, dread to mathematics. The traditional way of teaching mathematics, the teachers in front of the class going through a mechanical routine while others are suggesting, we are suggesting, you know you should try and learn to accept change use the modern approach just as how you are sitting in front of your computer watching this video so too can students in the class learn through video based tutorials or lessons it's faster it's more eff effective it's scientifically based look at this comic strip in this student is complaining exams coming up school is boring there must be a better way to learn math instead so of blackboard and chalkboard. Copy down your homework class. The education system is in a crisis. It is no longer working. So says the former chief executive officer of the Caribbean Examinations Council, Dr. Didacus Jules. Click and Learn presents information dynamically. Now you can understand math very simply. You have complete control over the video. As you are watching this video and you're hearing my voice, you can pause the video anytime or replay the video any number of times. Now contrast that, if you will, with the classroom experience. To only use them as software, you got good grades. Now, a review of the five-year education sector plan reveals a number of problems. Now in this section we look at the problems related to textbooks. According to the document, large amounts of textbooks remain marooned in regional warehouses. And that's the term they used, marooned in regional warehouses. In other words, they are not available to teachers for teachers to teach the students. Her teachers keep them locked up in cupboards for safety. This is page one, page 51 of the education sector plan. Her teachers keep them locked up in cupboards for safety. Textbooks are in a language that students and even some teachers find challenging. Again, this is taken directly out of the Guyana Education Sector Plan, page 4 to 1. Textbooks are in a language that students and even some teachers find challenging. In other words, they are so poorly written that even teachers themselves don't understand the thing. And they are written, these textbooks are written, according to the recent reports, they are written by regional edu education officers who have been paid a huge sums of money in addition, teachers have no training on how to use the textbooks. 
recently in the Kaicho news the Auditor General disclosed that regional education officers have received hundreds of thousands of dollars in advance for writing those textbooks and they are poorly written. Now the report also goes on to state that benefiting from textbooks requires a foundation of skills and knowledge beyond those of many students. In other words, in simple language, those who are using the textbooks, the pupils, and those who, for whom the textbooks are intended, the pupils and those who use the textbooks to teach, do not have the foundational skills of understanding the textbooks. Isn't that ridiculous? We at Innovation Consultancy can make a contribution there. Here we present information visually. When I reviewed some of the textbooks that are available for download from the website, they contain a lot of errors. Errors in content, errors in instructional design layout, blurred images, inappropriate typography, and much, much more. All these are contributing factors to the poor performance of students. And th something should be done about it. We at Innovation Consultancy make learning fun and interesting through engaging graphics and dynamic videos so you can quickly understand the content.